Hello, and welcome to Powerful Places Podcasts. I'm your host, Gary White, and today we'll hear an interview I did with Miguel Colon Bonfi about the Pyramid Valley in Bengaluru, India. I'm talking today to Miguel Colon Bonfi about his recent trip to India. Uh, you went with a group uh, from Europe, mostly from Spain, or Mo- mostly from Spain and a few people from Croatia. Uh huh. And the purpose of your trip? Well, uh, it was a spiritual uh, journey, uh, and uh, it related. Uh, with, we had a spiritual teacher with us, uh, Ivan Barsabi. And uh, he is uh, running a pro- programs uh, about a, a school that he calls uh, this program the School of Awareness, and uh, it's related to a kind of uh, awakening or to our true nature. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So you were uh, with a group of people who are with this school. Yes, that's it. Uh, the organizers of the trip uh, are from Albacete, a, f- a foundation, our association called Instituto Saluti Conciencia, and Ivan has been going there uh, several times, and he's also coming to other places uh, in Spain, uh, running uh, his programs. I looked at your itinerary, and there was one place that just really. Uh, intrigued me, uh, and that's uh, the Valley of the Pyramids. Uh, to me, the pyramids are in Egypt. <laughs> uh, so, uh, tell me about the Valley of the Pyramids, or it's a pyramid, there's a huge one. Yes, in fact, uh, the whole valley is in a very natural setting, uh, with luxurious uh, vegetation, and uh, there is a very big, big Pyramid, uh, newly built, not not an ancient one, mm-hmm. uh, but uh, is considered to be one of the biggest one now in the planet, uh, with the uh, biggest capacity of uh, holding uh, 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 five thousand people can go inside, and, and the purpose of this uh, pyramid is uh, promoting uh, like, uh, meditation experiences, uh, facilitate uh, facilitating the experience of meditation. So 5,000 people in a meditation space. Yes. Boggles my mind. (laughs) It's beyond my imagination. I've seen this pyramid has uh, these uh, designs on each face. Yes, there are uh, symbols in in it, uh, some of them related to universe uh, and other kind of uh, symbols uh, Mm -hmm. in in his walls. Mm -hmm. And who built this pyramid? Well, in fact, uh, the, the, one of the founders of this place is, uh, his name is Patrici, and uh, he is the promoter of this, um, the mission of this, uh, he has be, uh, uh, founded an association, Pyramid uh, Spiritual Societies movement, uh, that has two pillars in his vision of promoting vegetarianism and meditation as a way of uh, transforming uh, society and uh, having a, a new way of living. Mm-hmm. And, and he's still living. Yes, yes. Uh, mm-hmm. He's living uh, mainly there, but he uh, travels uh, uh, to many places. And mm-hmm. In fact, he mentioned that uh, very soon he's taking a road to Egypt, uh, to the real <laughs> to, 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 to the ancient ones, I think, right? Yeah. <laughs> he's a very mm, lovely man with a very uh, uh, good sense of humor, and he tries to bring a message of uh, going deep inside to find our deeper truths and uh, not related with any. Uh, religious belief or any uh, and more a scientific approach to what are our real experiences deep inside and then share these experiences with others as mm-hmm. a way of uh, having a, a real experience of uh, what is uh, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
So your group was able to meet him there? Yes, in fact uh, we stayed there uh, five days and only the three first days he was there because then he had to travel and he left. Well, they must have uh, hotel facility or... Uh, yes, kind of, uh, yes. Uh, uh, yes, yes, they, they places, places to stay, to, for, for people to stay and mm -hmm. so on, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so a day in, in this uh, wonderful place would be what? <laughs> tell, uh, tell me about a typical day. Uh, well, in fact, uh, as we had uh, our own uh, leader of the group, as I told, Ivan Bastrik was running some programs uh, in the morning and in the evening. Uh, uh, and he was suggesting some of the practices that we could, uh, even one day he suggested that we stayed a whole day in silence, just in a way of uh, being uh, more uh, ready to perceive uh, subtle, subtle energies and uh, mm -hmm. these kind of things. Uh, mm -hmm. So uh, the day started with uh, we could join the meditation that they are holding in, uh, early in the morning. Uh, it's a meditation that uh, it's just focusing on, uh, in the breath, uh, very simple technique, uh, mm -hmm. kind of uh, no uh, religious or any kind of uh, mm -hmm. and. Then uh, we had breakfast and then uh, the talk uh, with Ivan and uh, some uh, walk uh, in nature that was uh, very, very nice. Uh, and uh, there, there, there are in the whole area, there are di different places for little group or individual meditation. Mm -hmm. uh, that we were also encouraged to go and experience each mm -hmm. of them. Um, and some of those are also pyramids, right? Yes, yes, yes. The pyramid is very present in the whole valley. Even the, uh, they are building houses with pyramids in the top of the houses and <laughs> things like that. I, I just saw a photograph uh, of uh, a small framework, uh, one person sitting and a pyramid over her head. Uh, so, an individual pyramid. Yes, yes. <laughs> Pyramids of all sizes. Uh, what, does, uh, what, what does he believe about the pyramid that makes it such a special uh, structure? Yes, he uh, mentioned that uh, in the whole galaxy, uh, each uh, place that is inhabited uh, has a kind of ge geometric uh, structure that uh, is adequate for the energy in that area and it seems that uh, earth uh, pyramids are uh, uh, the, the geometric uh, mm, figure that is adequate for uh, the uh, for earth, earth. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. a kind of antenna of the uh, mm -hmm. energy uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and we do see pyramids all over the world uh, different cultures built them mm -hmm. It's an interesting, it's an interesting idea. So it seems that uh, it's the adequate uh, way of uh, connecting uh, and getting uh, information or... Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And when you were inside the big pyramid, did you experience a change of energy? Did you... what was your experience? Uh, yes, I, I had... Mm, I experience, uh, especially uh, in the big pyramid, uh, there is also a kind of a plat a platform in the center that uh, with a stair uh, you can go uh, up to the, uh, that place and it, it is even recommended not to stay more than let's say 20 minutes or something like that because the energy there is very strong and in mm -hmm. fact uh, I could sense that uh, very deep uh, silence and very strong energy mm. was there. If I wanted to go to this uh, to this pyramid, could I go as an individual? Yes, uh, definitely. Uh, it's very open to public, uh, mm -hmm. and it's uh, close to Bangalore, uh, the, one of the cities uh, in the center of the so you south could, of uh, India. So you could fly there and, and exactly. go to the place mm -hmm. uh, from there. Yes. Uh -huh.
Okay. Mm -hmm. well, thank you very much, Michael. Uh, thank you. Go to www.powerfulplaces.info for more information and links to various websites.